Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Welcome back to a monthly favorites video. This week, I'm gonna chat about some of my favorite recent photo book pickups. While everybody is pretty much inside their homes, I figured what better way to keep the spirit of photography alive than to talk about some photo books that I've picked up and hopefully show you some new work. It's no secret that photo books are by far my favorite way to consume photography. And I think that's because it is by far the purest way of experiencing some images. That might sound corny, but there's nothing better than sitting down with a nice photo book and looking through some new work. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do this week, show you some new photo books that I've picked up, hopefully to keep you inspired so that when all this craziness is over, you can go out and make some fresh pictures. I'm gonna get into the first book, which is easily the biggest photo book that I've ever owned. I actually had a tough time getting this one in the overhead shot because of its size, but it is House Hunting by Todd Heido. You guys know I'm a huge Todd Heido fan, and House Hunting was his first ever photo book, which unfortunately the first editions are incredibly expensive. So an Israeli press has republished an edition of this book, and as you can tell, it is pretty huge. This copy was very kindly sent to me by Keith from Satanta Books, who's a photo book publisher, also putting out some incredible books. So thank you, Keith, for this one. I've definitely talked about Heido's work on this channel before, and this book is filled with some of his most iconic suburban night photos. This is by far one of the most beautifully printed photo books that I've ever owned. Flipping through a photo book this big is honestly a really unique experience. I think what really draws me to Todd Heido's night landscapes is the fact that these photos always have a couple really dominant hues of color to them, whether that's a yellow, blue, red, or green. The color in this work is always just what speaks to me the most. And compositionally, these photos feel very cinematic and I love this work. So if you do get the chance to pick one of these up, I definitely recommend it. This next book, I actually found at a thrift store, which this is the only photo book that I've ever actually thrifted. I didn't know anything about the book or the artist when I picked it up, but this is Higley by Andrew Phelps. So what's funny is this is a signed book addressed to somebody named Charlie, whoever that might be. So Charlie, if you drop this in a bookstore, thank you. Essentially, this book contains photos of the small town of Higley in which I presume Andrew Phelps grew up. And this book has a really interesting contrast between photos of that town, which have a ton of character, both in the architecture and in the people that Andrew photographs. And then there's these contrasting images of new suburban developments kind of taking over that town, whether they're images of those developments being built, finished, or just being advertised. I think Andrew does a really incredible job at creating a balance between that old town America and new sort of developments that are taking over the town. It's definitely a topic that I've always wanted to explore more with my own photography, so that's why I ended up enjoying this book so much. This book was published in 2006, so it's slightly older. Overall, there's really nice attention to the colors and the light that are photographed in this book as well, which I think makes it really nice and cohesive. I'm not sure if I can find this one anywhere online, but if I do, I'll link it down below along with all the other books as usual. The next book is a black and white publication by Alex Soth. It is Songbook. He's arguably one of the greats of our time and I'm a big fan of his work. This book is one that I've wanted for ages and I've recently had the chance to pick it up, so I'm very stoked I did. If I understand this correctly, Alex Soth basically traveled through America with a writer in collaboration to make these images that essentially resemble early black and white press photography. They went around different states in America and photographed like journalists with this really incredible black and white hard flash aesthetic, which I think is interesting, especially knowing that Alex Soth's roots in photography were as a small town newspaper photographer. There's some really stunning landscapes in here and also on the contrast, just some really funny images. I'm a huge fan of Alex Soth's work and this book is no exception. Also, pretty interesting, this cover feels like it's filled with some kind of airy 
foam material, which just gives the book a really nice feel. And I always love some nice attention to detail when it comes to the designing. So that is Songbook by Alex Soth. I definitely recommend that one. I guess unintentionally, all the books this week have been pretty focused on the American landscape. And this next one also is no exception. This is Rejoice by Amanda Green. First of all, let me show you this cover. So this thing expands when you open the book to a full image. I really think that's quite clever. This book was published by Ain't Bad. I've talked about their books in the past and I really like what they do. This book is the kind of book that I would wanna look at without too much context. To me, these feel like images of small town America, but they're always really interesting observations of something that feels slightly out of place, whether it's a hue of color or it's an object somewhere or a bit of writing. And there's some really nice pairings of photos that just create a really interesting dialogue throughout this book about small town America. Also, I can definitely feel a little bit of William Eggleston inspiration in here, which I always love. For example, this feels like a really nice reference. This is one of those books that you could read a lot of different ways, depending, I think, on who it is looking at the book. So that's something I absolutely love about it. I think I would have a very different response to this than the next person who looks at it, which is a really good thing to have in a photo book. This next one has always been a personal favorite of mine, but I don't think I've ever talked about it on the channel. The book is called A Detroit Nocturne by Dave Giordano. So as the title suggests, Dave's book focuses on some really interesting areas of Detroit and he's photographed all of these at night. They all feel like very quiet, empty landscapes and these kind of study the industrial areas of Detroit. Dave makes some really stunning images in here like this Sunoco gas station that has somehow toppled over or these homes in front of a really industrial looking factory or power plant. In every one of these images, I feel like there's always a really interesting little detail that Dave has photographed in a way that just gives them so much more depth and really makes you look into the images. That could be kind of like an object that's standing in the road, a weird hue of color, or even a lightning bolt. So I love this book. I highly recommend you check it out. Those are pretty much all of my pickups. I hope there was something in here for everybody. If you do like one or you have any recommendations for myself, let me know down below in the comments. Finally, I wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an incredible online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of topics ranging from things like graphic design to photography. Andre Wagner's course on Skillshare is one that I've really enjoyed. I love seeing his process, shooting photos out on the street and then him going back home to his home darkroom to develop and print those images. Make 2020 a year of creativity and learning new skills by hitting the link in my description for a two month free trial of Skillshare Premium. Big thank you to Skillshare for supporting the channel and also thank you to you for watching the video. I upload every week, so make sure you subscribe down below if you're not already. You can also check out my Instagram, it'll be in the description, it's at Willem Verb. That's it for now, peace.